Hello, everybody, and welcome to Blasphemous. Now, it's no secret that Dark Souls is my favorite game. There's also no secret that Dark Souls has spawned an entire subgenre of action RPGs known as Souls Likes. And Souls Likes are not exclusive to the 3D game space where Dark Souls resides. There are also 2D platform heavy ones. Salt and Sanctuary is a great example of this. It's very much a 2D Dark Souls. It's incredible. But this, this is not Salt and Sanctuary. This, as Doug DeMuro would say, is blasphemous. Now, this game is receiving DLC later this year. And I believe sometime in 2023, they, they plan to have a sequel out. I've played this game a bit. I have not made it very far. As you can see, I've played for almost two hours. But we're going to start a new game. I don't intend to make this a series right now, but if it's asked for, I will. That said, I don't know if I can beat this game. Because this is my guilt, I claim the greatest miracle. Make my chest hurt with regret. Forge your punishment and nail it deep. The symbolism in this game is very heavy. And thus, guilt, repentance, mourning, and every pain of the soul of all kind were visibly and tangibly manifested everywhere and in all of us. Sometimes in the form of blessing and grace. Sometime in the form of punishment and corruption. That divine <coughs> being, equally pious and cruel, which we could not and will never be able to unravel, was called the miracle. The art style is just fucking amazing. So here we are. Little tutorial about the healing items. You can see two flask items down below. My health bar and such. Those are my Estus flasks for all intents and purposes. Biliary flasks. That's what they are called here in this game. The atmosphere is incredible. The feeling that this game brings to you is is grand. It's like they really worked hard to <clears throat> to really drive home just this this feeling of absolute helplessness and just darkness it's a very very incredible incredible experience <laughs>
So this is our, it's a, for more, for all, but, 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 for all intents and purposes, this is the tutorial boss. He's, he's difficult, but not impossible. I'm admittedly being like real sloppy, real aggressive, but yeah, there's our tutorial boss. This cutscene right here, it's about to happen. Just, just fucking watch. I have to give just nothing but props to the devs of this game. They've nailed everything that they're going for. They've nailed the, they've built a whole religion just for the world of this game. Just for the world of this game, they built a whole religion around pain. Wish of the eldest brother has now come to an end. I am Dale Gracias, witness to and narrator of the acts of the grievous miracle. Such is my penance, as yours is silence. The cradle of affliction is what you see. This can be found in the mother of mothers of the churches. It is a remote place separated from the rest of his lands by a great sacred and forbidden door. Even a wise penitent like me knows nothing of what lies beyond those high walls. However, what I do know is that, according to the rule, one must carry out the three humiliations to gain access to what they guard. One of them must be performed in the high mountains, covered in thick blankets of snow and ice. Another in the depths of a dark, entombed church where the sleeper lies. And the last one end of the trail carved by moans that claw their way out of an iron spiral in the bowels of the bell named Hondo that grows into the earth. Take this thorn and place it on the handle of your sword. If, when the time comes, as you grip your weapon firmly, you notice that it wounds you and makes you bleed. Having grown with more thorns sprouting from it, writhing over the figure of the father carved into the knob, that will mean that you are at the mercy of the grievous miracle, whether for its punishment or its forgiveness. All right, we got a thorn. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Like, what do you guys think about this? Also, I realized during that dialogue that my face is probably blocking you from seeing my health and my health and my items and stuff. My my bilial, 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 Estus flasks. <laughs> uh, so you probably can't see that, but you know, we'll get we'll get a little bit of. A little bit of basic combat against some basic enemies around. All right, parrying. All right. Uh, 
but it's just everyone and everything is so weird and decrepit. In order to use this prayer, open the inventory and equip it. So your prayers are, more or less, for all intents and purposes, your magic. So... And any and every time you die... Uh, your maximum uh, mana, more or less, goes down. There is no stamina bar to, to be picky about, though. Which is kind of nice in its own regard. Wait for it. Got your ass! Yeah! I believe we're about to hit another safe zone though. Basically, I just want to take you guys to the first like hub hub town type area. There is no answer to our plea. The miracle has forsaken us. And my ornate throne turns its back on those who wait here. And this is the uh Albero. And that has been the beginning of Blasphemous. A very, very well put together game. The lore behind it, the the, the world building, the, the 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 religion itself, just like everything that has been pieced together into this puzzle is just so finely crafted. You know, like the art style, it, it, the, the, the combat, the, the brutal difficulty. I, I, I'm having a very hard time going through this game on my own. The brutal difficulty, the absolute brutality of it. The absolute just insanity of the atmosphere. Just everything is so well done. If you are a fan of Souls Likes, I so strongly recommend getting this game. It is so good. So good. It knows what made Dark Souls great and takes it further. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not as like quiet about telling you the story, but instead of telling you the story quietly through item descriptions and player exploration, which it does do plenty of that. The item descriptions in this game are amazing, top notch. It also does so with weird religious riddles. So, easily, easily, easily one of my favorite recent games. I love this game. I cannot wait until I get over the pat, oh, past the part that I'm stuck on, because fuck that part, and just beat it. But like I said, if you guys want to see me try and beat this game for a series, I'll take it as far as I can. I will. Just for y'all. Just for you all. But for now, hashtag blasphemous. Let's just, you know, let's not only spread the word about this video, but about this game. This, this needs to be more successful. Much more successful. More people need to experience this, this great miracle of pain. Yeah, I will see you all on Friday with another video. Farewell.